what up guys and welcome back to another one it is Sunday morning this video is gonna go up today but it's early Sunday morning it's been raining all morning and I woke up and I'm like I know what my viewers need to see so today this video involves the lay down blind a pond and a five gallon bucket we actually have another storm on the way it's literally almost to our county here it's literally almost here so we're gonna get on the road we're gonna get down to the pond I have a good little treat for you here a lot of you beginners that buy new layout blinds even if they're not new you need to do this every single year but if you guys haven't look at them freedom American flag design duck shirts baby all of them are on sale right now on the site I will link them down below go pick you one up for 4th of July and support the channel support your boy let's get on the road We've been getting some rain finally. All my Kansas boys out there, all my Midwest Kansas boys, y'all know how the rain has been very thin. Here in this central part of the state, it has been rare. Finally, the last you know week to two weeks, we have been getting some great rain. And that corn, that corn is growing. I mean, it, it, it added like another two foot literally in the last freaking week. So, all my guys out there, if you guys want to see some uh, field prep videos, like how to find all your good fields before the season, drop a comment down below and let me know because there's a secret uh, to getting prepped on what fields that the geese are going to be going to and the ducks. So if you guys want to see a video like that, let me know. Now look at that. All the wheat is cut. Uh oh. And there's tons of doves everywhere. I cannot wait for September. Woo -hoo -hoo! Well, we are here at my pond here at the campgrounds and the reason we're here is because we're gonna mud us we are gonna mud our layout blind now I brought my my mud boots shout out to Luke Law he is actually a subscriber that owns a business a warehousing dis distribution business with outdoor products he sent me these lacrosse water boots and he's just like, hey man, I want to send you some free stuff. I'm a long time subscriber. You need some new gear. So if you guys want to pick up any of these sweet lacrosse boots, waders or anything like that for a really good price, stuff that we don't carry at Ducks, I will link them in the description below. Go check them out. Go, uh, go to Luke's website and see all the great prices he has on this stuff. Can't beat it. But, but a bunch of you are probably like, Bobby, why are you at a pond to mud a layout blind? And why didn't you just make a mud hole behind your house in the backyard or something? Well, here's the reason. The reason we want to mud our layout blind is to knock the sheen, the shine off of it. Especially when they're new, they are extremely shiny. A lot of sheen going on. Sheeny shininess. What do ponds offer? And most ponds, I know this pond for sure because a creek runs in it. And I know it's in the bottom of this thing. Silt. Nasty, nasty, muddy, smelly silt. Now, if you guys have ever got silt on your clothes, like a gray shirt or some shorts, khaki shorts, it stains it. You can't get it out. And that's the good thing about using silt out of ponds to mud your blind. Because in a lot of times, it will permanently stain it. So it's going to permanently knock off that shine instead of just using regular mud from the alley or something like that. Regular mud, it will only last so long and then once it breaks off or once it gets rained on enough it'll wash off and then there's your shine again but silt is the ticket so what did i do i brought a bucket and i brought the layout blind i brought them shiny nice boots god them are bad thank you luke for hooking me up with those let's get to mud in the old blind here now i have i have mudded this before but as you can see it has all just came off over the last couple years. Still has some sheen and shine to it. So, silt, let me show you. There she is. I don't know if you guys seen it carp jumped right on the bank scared the bejesus out of me all right one thing about this guys you are gonna get muddy and when i mean muddy you're gonna get muddy so look at this 
Now that is silt. The thing about silt is it's smelly. So if you're gonna decide to use silt, I mean, it's not too bad. It's just like cutting in a marsh. Pretty much the same stuff. Most marshes have a lot of silt in the bottoms, like you all know. A lot of public marshes, all this grimy, nasty, nastiness. So, let's get to mudding this thing, and I'm gonna show you how thick you need to spread this bad boy. All right, when doing this, guys, I know this, uh, a lot of you guys are probably like, dude, it's just mud in a blind, it can't be that hard. Well, it's not, but some of you beginners out there, you're like, what the heck do they mean by mud in a blind? What am I supposed to do here? So that's why I'm doing this video, is to show you guys. So, your nice, tasty, yummy silt. Make sure, it's all, make sure your blind's all closed up, and just start spreading it, baby. I'm gonna spread it all on here, like so. I'm not gonna leave a lot of extra. All you want is just a really thin coat. You just want a nice, nice, thin, thin coat. And at first, it's gonna look really black and really dark, but as it dries over, over the rest of the summer, over the rest of, you know, until duck season gets here, it's gonna dry, it's gonna flake off a little bit, so don't worry, you're not gonna ruin your blind by doing this. You can never ruin a blind by mudding it or by, you know, putting corn stalks in or anything like that. They wash off. But the good thing about this silt, guys, it's almost like, if you can imagine, like it's almost, quote, oil-based. So it really, really, it stains it, which is good. We want to, the goal is, is to knock off that shine on that blind. Keep lathering her up. I mean, this is not a clean process. You're gonna get extremely nasty. You just lather it. Just lather her up, baby. Lather her up, baby. We like them thick. Like I said, guys, look at that. This is what you're working with when you want to mud a blind the right way. Get that silt mud. Let's stain it. Let's not just be lazy and go in the backyard and make a mud hole because I'm telling you right now, that mud is not gonna last from the backyard. This silt, this is the ticket. <laughs> well, we got her pretty mudded up. Like I said, you don't have to hit every square inch of it. We just want to do, we just really want to hit the big open solid areas of the blind. All the little areas underneath it, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So guys, here we are. Now, you can see how much mud I used. I didn't use much. And look how much I got covered. Nice, thick. We're gonna let it dry just like this. Now see, I didn't go real thick. It's pretty thin in a lot of areas and that's what's good about this silty, silty mud. The silty mud isn't a normal mud. Like I said, it stains, it stains. If any of you have got mud on your jeans or a, you know, a white shirt or a gray shirt or something, you know it just stains the heck out of it. And that's what we're here to do is to knock the shine off this blind. So silty, silty mud is the way to go because it's so stainy. It stains. So, a lot of you have asked about, uh, you know, just how-to videos involving the layout blind because a lot of us out there, we do solo duck hunts, we do two-man, three-man duck hunts, small ones, and we use layout blinds all the time. So, if you guys wanna see more layout blind uh, how-to videos, leave a comment down below. And if you like this one, you know what to do. Drop that thumbs up for your boy. Old ponds, man, I'm telling you. A lot of them are nasty in the bottom of them. As, as most of us know, as duck hunters, we got to walk through them with waders. You know, they're like quicksand sometimes. Those are the ponds where you want to go get your mud. You don't want to go to a pond, like a residential pond, neighborhood pond that's brand new and don't, and, and it might have a rocky bottom or a sandy bottom. That's not going to work. You need to go to an old pond that has a bunch of silt in it, like quicksand in the bottom of the thing. Now, if you're going to walk out in the pond, be careful. I always have to put my safety warnings on here. Be careful guys when you're walking out in these ponds because they are like quicksand a lot of times. They're nasty, they're soft, 
you know how it goes. So a lot of my duck hunters out there, I ain't got to tell you this stuff. You know the name of the game. You've been out wading in them in waders, shooting ducks, having to go retrieve them if you don't have a dog. So this is just my tip of the day when it comes to mudding your lay down blind. I want to show you something real quick. Uh, this is kind of a good tip. Um, if you go in your pond and you can't find any silt in the bottom, this is what I did. Um, so I first came in the pond like this. I first went over here, I was like, man, there should be some silt over there. Didn't find it, it was just a lot of just black sand. It wasn't good mud. But look at this, this bank is dried up. So the, the pond was up at one time and went down and what happened, it gets crusty. It starts drying and this is where I got all my good, yummy poop mud from. I mean, this is just that thick, greasy, just stain, stain city mud. I went over here, I'm like, I don't see anything but sand. That's all sand. And then I looked over here and I'm like, there it is. That, that's my mud right there. So I've been doing this for a lot of years, guys. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up if it's a good tip for you. But I've been using this type of mud for years. This, this is the way to do it. A lot of guys will paint them, spray paint, uh, they're blind. And, and you can do that, but some, some spray paint will still shine. You can go buy the flat, the flat browns or the flat greens or something like that. But naturally speaking, silt mud is the best for one. And then for two, it's free. So if you have a pond like this, it's free. Go out there every season, a month before, a couple weeks before. It doesn't even have to be right now. You can wait until September, right before till season. Just let your let your blind lay out and dry a little bit. You know, bat it, bat the extras off of it, and you're good to go. It should last you all season with this silt mud. Easily all season. Oh, look at that. I don't think I've showed you guys these yet. We, we got these ducks canvas keychains in, and let me tell you, these are bad. They're extremely cheap, so if you're looking for a cheap way to support the channel, I will link all of our keychains down below. Go pick you one up. They're sweet and they're extremely cheap. But like I said, we're here at the old campgrounds. I love my old campgrounds. I've been coming out here since I was a little, little kid, and I use it a bunch for hunting. I don't hunt out here per se, but just like this, I'll go out here, I'll do some decoy videos for you guys. I'll do some decoy spread videos for you guys. I'll do some mud blinding videos for you guys. I've did the A-frame video out here. I use it for everything. So what I'm getting at is any how-to videos that you guys wanna see, let me know down below. If you wanna see more lay down blind videos, if you want me to cover calling if you want me to cover anything now now one video that is coming for you guys is uh the patterning video i have a patterning video coming we're going to cover uh some ammo but we're going to mainly go over chokes so we're going to go over what chokes do what and what we need to be using them for you guys requested that video and let me tell you it is on the way i promise well we're back at the house we got the old blind here and I wanted to show you guys because it's it's really starting to dry up a little bit and it looks really 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 good I mean look how good that thing looks so you can imagine once it dries it's gonna be a little lighter brown and what's gonna happen here guys we're still gonna blind it you know if we're in a cornfield we're still gonna blind it up heavily but look how good it looks just with last season's corn on it still and with a little fresh new mud so guys you know winter wheat fields a lot of winter wheat fields in the winter they are bare dirt. This is where this comes into play. You're gonna blend in with that bare dirt ground a lot better by mudding your lay down blind just like this. And that silt mud, I know I've said it a bunch, but I'm trying to beat it in your guys' heads to understand that it's like an oil-based mud if we, if we wanna relate it. it. It stains, it sticks, it stays there for a long time. Uh-oh. Hey, old Tomcat. This is our cat Tom. I don't think you guys have ever met Tom. You wanna go hunting with me, bub? You gonna be a hunting cat, huh? Well, you know you're at Bob's house back by the garage when there's just tons of shotgun shells everywhere. Literally all the time, it's like I got shotgun shells literally everywhere in my life. Whether it's in the bed of my truck, whether it's on the ground at my house, literally empty shotgun shells are everywhere here. But guys, if you guys like this video with the old lay down blind, let me know. Drop a comment down below and especially hit that thumbs up button because that's the first initial thing that tells me that you guys liked it. Oh, and look at them. We got the olive hats back in stock. These are that green olive hat. We were out of them for a little bit, but they're back. And if you guys are looking for a 4th July shirt, I know I've told you a couple times, these are on sale 10% off 
through the 4th of July. Go pick you one up. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for always dropping your comments down below and let me know what you guys want to see. It, it, it really helps me out a bunch. That's where I got the idea to do this. That's where I get the ideas to do the A-frame videos, the, the clay throwing videos. All that stuff comes from you guys. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Enjoy the rain that we're getting. If you guys are getting any like me, please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Gala, gala, gala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead.